Okay, so I want to go over testing these solenoids, these cartridge solenoids on the manifold block on the lift gates. All right, this one is a two post solenoid. Sometimes you'll only see one there. If you only see one, that's where the power goes and the, it's self grounded as it mounts through the uh, manifold block. This is a two post, so uh, the positive goes on the one and the negative is coming off of the switched uh, wire coming off the toggle switch when you're wanting to move the lift gate up or down. So here's a solenoid. This black part, this is the coil. This is the part that actually produces the magnetic field when you put the 12 volts here. So testing these out is pretty easy. I uh, just have a battery. If this is sitting on the lift gate itself, you haven't removed it, that's probably the easiest way to do it. So best thing to do is to uh, test if you have power going to this coil. Now you can either take your meter and put it up there and see if you have 12 volts. Um, but another th easy thing to do is if you have power hooked up, we hook this up, we should hear a click. I don't know if you can hear that, but when you hook that up, that's creating a magnetic field in this coil. So if you have somebody at the lift gate operating the switch at the rear of the trailer and you are investigating this suspect uh, solenoid, if it is energized and the magnetic field is being produced, you should be able to put a screwdriver at the end of this and it should get pulled in to the magnetic field. So basically you want to find the solenoid that um, that you're testing, let's say that you're doing the uh, closed cylinder. So if this is uh, this, the solenoid that should be activated as it's uh, letting the oil through the manifold block, as someone's hitting that switch, if this is working correctly, if the coil is working correctly, it doesn't mean the cartridge is working correctly, that's a different test. But to see if the coil is actually producing a magnetic field, you can test for 12 volts right here, or you can just have someone activate the circuit, put a screwdriver next to it, and it'll get pulled in. And as they let go of the switch, if you unplug it there, it'll lose its magnetic pull. So again, if this is uh, making a magnetic field, that's only proving that this coil part is working. Now we have to see that the shuttle inside the cartridge is actually moving, because if there's some dirt in there or it's damaged and that's not moving, you'll hear this click and you still get 12 volts here, but that doesn't mean the valve is actually working. It doesn't mean the shuttle is moving to divert the oil. So to check this is really simple. You don't have to take this off. Uh, I'll take it off just for clarity. Just take the nut off the back, comes right out of the coil. And can't do anything on this end. This is just a solid end here. But this end, you can operate the plunger that is normally operated by the magnetic field from the coil. So you put a small screwdriver in there and you should be able to move it in and out about an eighth of an inch, a little bit more than that. And it should move freely. If there's dirt in there or if the there's a spring inside here, a mechanical spring that's returning this valve into its its static state into its resting state the shuttle moves when the magnetic field is produced and and moves it but to make sure that this shuttle is moving correctly all you do is stick a screwdriver in there and make sure it's moving freely at least an eighth of an inch another thing you want to check is to make sure that the o-rings are in good shape they're not leaking o-ring here and there also this valve packing right here it is normal to see this split that's how they put it on there um, Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to get this hard plastic over the over the uh, cartridge. So that's the testing of the solenoid. Again, you can put this back together. Nut on.